All right, this is a video for lesson two ratios, of course, in our module one book, and this is the exit ticket, and we are going to take a look on how we can go about solving. Um, it's asking us to give two different ratios with a description of the ratio relationship using the following information. So again, what we should know is that uh, ratio is really a comparison of two quantities. It's an expression of two quantities, neither of which can equal zero. Um, and so if we have over here, we have a quantity of male teachers. So there are 15 male teachers in the school, and there's a quantity of female teachers. So there are 35 female teachers in the school. And what they want us to do is they want us to use ratio uh, language to describe a ratio relationship. And not only do they want us to give a ratio, they want us to give two different ratios, okay, with a description of the ratio relationship, okay? And so we have the two different values, and we'll use red and blue for those. So we have one value equals the male teachers, and we have another value that equals, or another quantity that equals the female teachers. So we're really just trying to use ratio language to describe that relationship. And so what we have here is there are 35 female teachers for every this is very important because a lot of you guys say and and that is wrong that is 100 percent wrong i do not want to see the word and when you're using ratio language because it's not and it is a comparison of two quantities or the relationship of those two quantities to each other there are 35 female teachers for every 15 male teachers, okay? So, this is description. This is description. We're not just telling the numbers, okay? We're telling the description. The ratio here and here. And we can display those by saying 35 to 15. We can also write that as 35 to 15 using a colon. Okay, and actually I'll make sure that that's black so it matches with the two. And that is the same thing, okay? Now, they don't want you to stop there because they have asked that you do give two different ratios. So this is one ratio. And we remember that when we write ratios, order absolutely matters, okay? So we have to now create a new ratio, a, dare we say, different ratio that describes the same relationship between those numbers. So we're just going to switch it. We're going to start with the male teachers instead since we started with the female teachers before. So we'll go ahead and we will start there are 15 male teachers for every, remember we're not writing and, for every 35 female teachers. Now we have given one way, two ways. 
So this would be the two different ratios. One is comparing one is comparing females females to males and the other one is comparing males to females. And let's just make sure that we have the values plugged in here. So we'll have 15 to 35, as well as 15 to 35. This one and two are the ways that you will answer this lesson, exit ticket. This is the only exit ticket that I am going to use the exact values that are in the exit ticket. From here on out, you will see different values when I go over the exit ticket because I need to test your thinking.